Good afternoon to all of you, and welcome to your favorite TV show, Informative World. Here we talk about everything, but today we're going to talk about some interesting topics about uh, our Mexico society of these days, such as the airport shooting and the different speculations about Ernesto Cedillo. The first guest will be our chief persecutor who will tell us about the airport shooting, the presidential campaign of Luis Donaldo Colosio, and the assassination of Pakistan. On the other hand, our second guest will talk about uh, Ernesto Cedillo and the impact that he had in the Mexico society and economy. Hello and thank you for coming. Thank you for inviting us. We are totally honored to be here. I'm glad to hear that. So tell me, are you ready to start the questions? Yes, of course. Well, Chief Prosecutor, so um, what can you tell us about the shooting in the Mexico City International Airport? It all started with the capture of El Jefe de Jefes, which is Miguel Angel Felix Gallardo. This kind of situation really marked the cartel, especially the Guadalajara cartel because they got exposed to the world. So these um, actually are like vulnerable, the cartel, because right now two leaders of the organization have been arrested. From there, new bands start to emerge, right? Yes, actually, the capture triggered the creation of new cartels, led by the ones who were only peons of the LGFDGFs. So some of the cartels were the forest cartels, led by Amado Castillo, the Señora de Cielos, the Tijuana cartel that was for the Arellano Felipe brothers, and the Sinaloa cartel was led by the Joaquin Guzman Loera, who is the Chapo, Ismael El Mayo, and Juan Jose Esparragosa, which is El Azul. It seems that we're tensions for a long time especially between the Sinaloas and the Tijuanas. Can you tell us um, more about them? Yes, well, these cartels, they already exist way before they get into an open discussion between them. And they start like a fighting because El Chapo start rising in popularity, in the cartels, in well, the sell drugs and all like that. And that uh, created a friction between the Arellano Felix brothers because they were like the protective ones or even the nephews of the El Jefe de Jefes. It seems that the rivals uh, became increasing violence over the time. Is that why they made a um, big show in the airport? Well, it was not only a blackout shooting. They demonstrated that they have no fear. It was a warning. Uh, they had to settle their differentiations and their problems. And that doesn't matter if they do it in front of everyone or anyone <laughs> or even in some places. So it's more like a demonstration that the, those cartels actually uh, demand Mexico and they organize crime and they organize drugs. Actually, is like the most violent thing in Mexico. A warning. Yes, well, and there was another event, a turning tragical point, that it was the Cardinal Juan Jesus Posadas Ocampos. He was shot and killed at the airport of Guadalajara International. Why did they kill him? Well, Cardinal was caught in a crossfire between the cartels. He was only collateral damage. He wasn't the, like the objective. The cartels were there in the airport of International in Guadalajara because they were going to kill someone else, but they mistaken him identity, so he he died with the most absurd absurd problems. What's a shame. So, um, what can you tell me about Luis Donaldo Colosio? His assassination was also a surprise for everyone. At 5:04 p.m., he ended his speech. And four minutes later, the tragic event happened. Can you describe what happened in the assassination of Colosio? Of course, Colosio was walking into his truck 
when the Arradi attendee and the four thousand people got gathered around him, and he shot him right in his right ear with a .38 caliber revolver. Then he took another shot, but this time in his abdomen, and immediately at 5.20 p.m. he was translated before he passed away uh, to the Hospital General of Tijuana. It is more than a queen that this event shocked Mexico, and um, yeah, all the world. Uh, so can you tell us um, more about the political context at the time? Uh, Carlos Salinas de Cortari had been many speculations about he sent to kill Colosio. Why? Because Colosio was actually the one who was going to make an actual change in the country. And we know what kind of person is it's him. So he was going to derogate all his ideologies or the control of the, of the country. So that's why people start making speculations about if he sent to kill Colosio. It's a horrible time now in Mexico, but um, what can you tell me about Pakistan? It was actually a shocking event too. He and his escort was uh, walking by his truck when at least five men armed was waiting for them to, to kill him. So when nearly in the noon, when he arrived with his truck, uh, the men shot him to die. Well, what amazing information we got. Um, thanks for your time. Well, let's go to a commercial uh, before we can continue with our second guest. Sándwiches gigantes con queso tipo manchego chamburcí. Mmm, ¿y la ensalada? Con manchego chamburcí. ¿Y el postre, mami? Hazte con manchego chamburcí. Oye, ¿te gusta el manchego chamburcí? Oigan, se lo acaban. Chamburcí es sabor y confianza. El pan dulce bimbo tiene varias ventajas. Por ejemplo, sienta su peso. Confirme su rico sabor y compruebe también su precio. ¡Qué diferencia! En verdad, el pan dulce bimbo le da más pan por su dinero. Créame, señora. ¿Verdad del osito bimbo? Ahora sí, notición, chatos. Para mí que el nuevo sabor de Coca-Cola está mejor que nunca. Pues por eso anda de boca en boca. Pruébelo, pruébelo. Está así, joven. ¿Cómo de que no? Si el nuevo sabor de Coca-Cola está para compartirlo más, para disfrutarlo más, para refrescarse más, como si dijéramos, el nuevo sabor de Coca-Cola está más Coca-Cola que nunca. No, pues yo con esta pareja sí bailo todo el año. Está así. Nomás pruébela. Hello and welcome back to Informative World. We will continue with our next interviews. Now, with the campaign representative of Ernesto Cedillo. What can you tell us about? Uh, well, during his presidency, he faced one of the worst economic crises in Mexico history, uh, which began just week after he took office. He distanced himself from his pre predecessors, Carlos Salinas de, de Gortari, blaming the crisis of his administration. Increasing? What else? Uh, there were many confrontations with the ECLN and the Popular Revolutionary Army. The controversial implementation of the FOBAPROA uh, to rescue the national uh, banking system. Also, they uh, implement a political reform that allowed residents of the federal district uh, to elect their own mayor. And the Aguas Blancas and Actel massacres perpetrated by state forces. The price of the dollar increased between December of 1994 and March of 1995, which immediately caused the thousands of companies in breakup, employment and many debtors of unable of pace. But what can you tell us about that? Uh, yeah, so Cedillo solved the problem by means of two loans made by the United States of Mexico uh, for a total of $20 billion, achieving that the rest of his presidential term saw a recovery of employment and healthy administration of the Mexican economy, apparently due to the change in the economic system that allowed relative economic stability in the following six-year term. In the political arena, 
he initiated and took the first step towards democracy by setting an example. On the other hand, the opposition managed to win for the first time the governorship of several states and become the majority in the Congress. For some time, um, he didn't have a great approval, right? Uh, Sevilla continued to suffer from low approval throughout the rest of 1995 with the effects of the economic crisis, the ongoing conflict with the ECLN in Chiapas and the Aguas Blancas massacre in June preventing his popularity from recovering. Although not as, a, not as a problematic in 1995, his approval rating uh, remained volatile during 1996. I began, began to experience uh, uh, the growth in January 1997, during the rest of his presidency, uh, the disapproval rating he succeeded. Did he get uh, involved in something bad? So, after the assassination of Luis Donaldo Colosio, the pre original presidential candidate, occurred before Cedillo took office. The circumstances surrounding uh, this even remain of a topic uh, of controversy and speculation during his presidency. Questions about the motives and possible political implications of the assassination persisted. They thought that they planned it? Uh, some believe it was politically motivated, while others suspected it was related to internal division within the PRI. Colosio had been promoting a more open and reform-oriented agenda, which was seen as a departure from the PRI's traditional politics. What interesting topics. I appreciate the time. So, it was nothing. Thank you for inviting me. Well, what a messy show we had. I hope you enjoy it. And see you next time. Sobrinas, les tengo una noticia. Barbie, la revista para ti les tiene ahora mes con mes una increíble sorpresa. Además de ricas recetas, juegos, modas y muchas cosas más. Barbie, la revista para ti de venta ya en puestos de periódicos. No me fallen. Gelatina Dani, 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 Gelatina Dani,